Hello everybody, and welcome. I know you're thinking, why are we looking at a BIOS? Well, I was actually going to show you starting up on Windows 8, but I accidentally pushed power before starting my camera. So I just jumped to this. Anyways, um, I'll show you to start up on Windows 8 quickly. I'm going to say right now, I'm s starting fresh, basically. Uh, so this, this wasn't a new plan. I've, I've planned this for a long time. When the Windows 8 came out, I was going to switch to Windows 8. And it came out. Well, the preview did, so... From now on, it's going to be Windows 8 unless I say so. So, any Windows 7 questions, please don't ask. Or, well, you can ask them, but make sure they're... I can do these on Windows 8 as well, just to demonstrate. Which I think I will be able to do, because Windows 7 is similar to Windows 8. It's just got a different screen. Anyways, so that's what's the startup of Windows 8. I'm going to click Exit. Exit Save Changes. I did nothing, so I don't have to worry. And, yes. Alright, now I'm starting up. Let's see how fast it starts up. So, you'll see you have the brand new Windows 8. That's, I'm, I hear it's supposed to be very fast, because um, because it's very low RAM use, useful, and there's a lot of room in the computer. I'm trying to focus there. It's my, my camera's trying to focus. Alright, so anyways, I know I'm not using a screen recorder. I'm just too lazy to download one right now. I'll download one later, so don't worry about it. Alright, there it is. Let me just zoom in that. Oh, whoa, I didn't even get time to zoom in. Holy crap. It says, please wait. That was fast. Holy, holy shit. Holy shit. That was like five seconds. I'm already at... This is the shortest video I've ever made. Holy shit. Five fucking seconds. I, don't, I didn't even know that's five fucking seconds. But it felt like five seconds. I'm starting to love this operating system. Stay tuned for the next, uh, stay tuned for part two, alright? Oh, and I forgot to show you how to start up. So, after you start, after you start up, slide it up with your mouse, and then type in the password, and there we go. Using our password incorrect, damn it. Well, let me tell you something right now. This is running off of cloud, so that means all my information data does not start on my computer but stored on the internet. So, I love that. I, I was hoping for that, and it came true. Alright, well, it's logging in, says welcome. This isn't as fast. It's, I, real, I realize this isn't as fast. Probably, I don't know. But, oh, there we go. And there it is. There's my startup screen. Alright, stay tuned for part two.